Welcome to Wood Arena, a channel dedicated to showcasing the remarkable machines and processes behind the forestry and timber industry. Today, we'll take you on a fascinating journey, starting in the fields, moving through logging, wood chipping, and finally reaching sawmills and wood fuel production. From raw trees to useful energy and timber, this is the story of wood at work. Our journey begins in the fields, where powerful agricultural and forestry equipment take the first steps in harvesting raw material. Here, we see the John Deere 7350i Forage Harvester, a machine built for efficiency, handling tough conditions with precision. Working alongside it is the reliable Zetor 16145 tractor, pulling a Schweitmaker Rapide 100 forage wagon. Together, they form a team designed to transport massive amounts of material quickly and safely. The John Deere cuts and chops plant matter into manageable pieces while the Sweetmaker wagon collects and carries it away. Although this scene looks simple, it represents the first crucial step in turning raw biomass into valuable resources. These wagons are built with strong frames and reinforced walls to handle the heavy weight of fresh cut material. For many of us, this might bring back memories of traditional farming. But here, technology plays a much greater role. Precision harvesting ensures less waste and better quality material, whether it's destined for livestock feed, biofuel, or the next step in wood processing. This teamwork between harvester and tractor showcases the careful planning required in modern forestry and farming. It's not just about cutting and hauling, it's about efficiency, sustainability, and preparing material for industries that will transform it into heat, power, or timber products. From these first moments in the field, we set the stage for the remarkable journey of wood and biomass. Once the raw material has been harvested, the next stage involves handling bulk wood chips. Here we see the Liebherr 974 excavator and the Liebherr 580 wheel loader working side by side. These powerful machines move mountains of wood chips with precision and strength. The excavator uses its long arm to scoop enormous volumes of chips, while the wheel loader provides speed and mobility shuttling material to waiting trucks. This combination of power and finesse ensures that the flow of material never slows down. Wood chips like these are incredibly versatile. They can be used for pulp and paper production, for biomass energy, or even as landscaping material. But before they can be used, they must be handled and transported effectively. And that's where heavy machinery shines.
Older viewers may remember when such tasks required entire crews of men with shovels and wheelbarrows. Today, hydraulic systems and advanced engineering allow a single operator to do the work of dozens, moving thousands of pounds of material in minutes. The Lead Hill brand is trusted worldwide for durability in forestry and construction alike. Watching them in action reminds us just how much innovation has changed the way we move and process wood products, making large-scale operations not only possible, but efficient and sustainable. Now, we travel to Tasmania, where the Newwood Sawmill demonstrates how raw logs are transformed into usable timber. A sawmill is the heart of the wood industry turning what was once a standing tree into the boards and beams we use in everyday life. Logs arrive on conveyors stripped of bark and carefully positioned for cutting. Powerful saw blades slice through them with accuracy, producing planks of various sizes. Every cut is carefully measured to reduce waste and maximize yield. This process is more than just sawing. It requires sorting, grading, and drying, ensuring that the wood is strong, straight, and ready for construction or furniture making. The sawmill also collects bark, sawdust, and offcuts, recycling them into biofuel or wood chips, proving that almost nothing goes to waste. For viewers in the United States, this may feel familiar. Sawmills have long been part of American history, building the towns and cities where we live. Modern sawmills, like this one in Tasmania, combine tradition with high-tech machinery, producing timber more quickly and efficiently than ever before. Here, the journey of a tree takes on new meaning. It shifts from raw natural resource to a vital material for homes, businesses, and industries around the world. From furniture to flooring, timber begins its life in facilities just like this one. From timber production, we now return to energy. In the UK, LC Energy operates a wood chip production hub dedicated to biomass fuel. Here, logs and waste wood are chipped screened and stored, ready to be delivered to schools, hospitals, and businesses that rely on wood fuel for heat. This facility represents the growing importance of renewable energy. Instead of relying solely on fossil fuels, many countries are turning to biomass as a sustainable alternative. Wood chips burn cleanly and can be sourced locally, reducing carbon emissions and supporting rural economies. What makes this hub special is its efficiency. 
By standardizing chip size and moisture content, LC Energy ensures that boilers operate smoothly and produce consistent heat. It's an example of how forestry and energy industries work together to provide reliable, renewable solutions for communities. At this stage, wood chips need to be separated by size and quality. Enter the trommel screen, a rotating cylindrical machine that sorts material into three distinct products. Larger chips, medium-sized chips, and fine particles each have their own uses, whether for fuel, mulch, or further processing. The trouble is simple in design but highly effective. Material enters one end, tumbles as the drum rotates, and exits through graded openings. For viewers, it's a reminder of how small innovations can make big differences in efficiency. Sorting wood chips ensures nothing is wasted, and every particle finds a purpose in the supply chain, whether it becomes heat, paper, or landscaping material. Moving wood chips isn't always about trucks and loaders. Here we see a wood chip blower, designed to transport chips through pipes using air pressure. This method is ideal for delivering material into tight spaces, storage bins, or directly into furnaces. It's a clever system reducing the need for manual labor and making sure chips reach their destination quickly and cleanly. For many older viewers, it may bring back memories of pneumatic tubes once used in offices and banks. Only here, the scale is much larger, and the cargo is wood fuel. Another essential tool in wood handling is the conveyor system. Conveyors move chips continuously, reducing the need for heavy equipment in small areas. In this segment, we see a long conveyor carrying chips from one stage of processing to the next. Unlike loaders and trucks, conveyors provide a steady, controlled flow, ensuring that sawmills and energy plants receive a constant supply. Conveyors also reduce fuel costs, noise, and traffic on site. By automating material handling, they make large operations more efficient while lowering environmental impact. This technology is a backbone of modern industry, not only in forestry, but also in mining, agriculture, and manufacturing. It represents the steady, reliable progress that supports larger systems, moving countless tons of material, one belt at a time. Following the sustainable harvesting, now, let's connect everything we've seen. The journey from tree to timber, chips, and finally heat illustrates the full wood fuel supply chain. As the trees become established and start to put on significant growth. I'm sure that wood is from a sustainable source. Trees are harvested responsibly, ensuring forests remain healthy and productive. The material is transported, chipped, sorted, and dried. Some becomes lumber for construction, while the rest is converted into fuel. Boilers then use these chips to produce heat and hot water for homes, businesses, and entire communities.
By supporting local timber producers, woodland managers and woodland owners, we are investing in our local woodlands for future generations. This process is not only efficient, but also sustainable. By using every part of the tree, waste is minimized. Wood fuel is considered carbon neutral, as the carbon released during burning is balanced by the carbon absorbed during the tree's growth. That timber, the only real market for that timber would have been sending it to Wales for the paper pulp industry, and um, we'd have got a couple of pounds for it. In the United States and Europe alike, biomass has become a key part of renewable energy strategy. For rural areas, it also creates jobs. Loggers, truck drivers, mill workers and technicians play a role. For viewers, this is a reminder that behind every flick of a light switch or turn of a thermostat, there are industries and people working to provide reliable energy. In the case of biomass, that energy is rooted in something as natural and renewable as a tree. This journey, from field to forest, from chips to heat, shows how forestry is not just about cutting trees, but about building sustainable systems for the future. And so, our journey ends where it began, with the power of wood. From forests to sawmills, from chips to heat, every step shows the value of this timeless resource. Thank you for joining us on Wood Arena. Stay tuned for more stories of machines, industry, and innovation in action.